All right? So anyone who wants to throw a water balloon at me, oh, look at him. He's like, yes, cool. Um, I have to wear a mask because of Granger Romeo because he almost killed me at BBS. And so that's why I have the mask on. And then um, um, I will be wearing a playable dinosaur costume two weeks from today. And then I will let you know when me being the crossing guard as a clown is going to happen. I have to talk with the person who's helping me with that, and we got a range of time. It'll be in the afternoon, and we will publicize it so you can drive by and laugh at me. All right? Sherry is here, and, and, and she's done that. Sherry, would ne you never would have dressed as a clown as a crossing guard. You're too professional for such a thing. <laughs> and I am not. Just two more quick announcements. Uh, tonight is a new member class. If you are interested in joining Trinity, we invite you to join us at 6 o'clock tonight. If you're interested but can't come, see me after worship. And a reminder as well that Loggers with the Lord is coming up on November 13th. We invite everyone to join us at Buckshots for that. We are so glad that you are here this morning. If you know these songs, we invite you to sing along um, and join us. And this next one is one of our very first ones we ever did. This is I'll Fly Away. Some bright morning when this life is o'er Thank <laughs> you. 
call him number one because that's the number of his mic over on piano, guitar, and bass, <laughs> Jeff Romehill. And of course, the superstar of our group, Mr. Robert Bird. And this song features Mr. Bob. It's the question he asks every time he walks into the church and sees me. This is Whiny Lord. And of course, you know the man on the end. The man, the myth, the legend in his own mind. <laughs> Pastor Brad Peterson. That was a terrible
chapter of Matthew, beginning with the first verse. Then Jesus said to the crowds and his disciples, the scriptures will do whatever they teach you and not practice. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to, but they themselves, they do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their fellow sites a place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues, to be greeted with respect in the marketplace, and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. This is the gospel of our Lord. You may be seated. Grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. I don't know if it's a combination of me getting older or my ADD, but I found myself having to do a lot of things to remember to do something simple. Like a great example is today, 
I had to set an alarm to remind myself to charge my remotes for my ukulele and my amp so that my actual ukulele would work. I had to set an alarm as well as a reminder to myself to do something in the office. I had to write notes in my note app to remember that the next time I go to Walmart, I have to get some cheese for fellowship for next Sunday. I have a post-it note with a running things of stuff that we need at the house because Amy will tell me we need something, like we need potatoes, and I will walk into the grocery store and I will walk out with everything but potatoes. <coughs> All right? I even set an alarm this morning to remind myself to change the clocks in our house. Even though I knew that we had daylight savings time and I would get an extra hour of sleep. I tend to forget, and I know that some of that is my age and some of that is the fact that I like, I'm, I'm just like a, I just like this, right? You put something, thought goes in my head, thought goes right out as I now think about something else. I actually woke up this morning to, remember, to remind myself to remember something that's not happening till like two weeks from now. And I wrote a little note down in my phone. Remember on November 20th. I have an issue. <laughs> but I think we sometimes have an issue, we all have issues remembering, and not, not just about like when we have to get the grocery store or some of our other tasks. We have an issue in remembering who we truly are. We sometimes forget about who we are. More importantly, who we belong to. We live in a society that tells us that we belong to all sorts of things. But we forget what truly matters, and that is that we are a child of God. You are a child of God. And what makes us forget that we are children of God is that we make mistakes and screw up. Not Bob, but the rest of us. We screw up and we make mistakes, and we make mistakes. We have guilt and we have shame, and we have a world that tells us that sometimes our mistakes are what define us and not everything else, and so then we forget who we are. We forget that God loves us. We forget that we are created in the image of God when people come after us for our looks or the ways that we are. We forget that this God loves us and sends his son Jesus to die for us. And he doesn't die for us because we've been perfect or because we've always made the right choices or even that we've made the right choices 98% of the time. This God saves us because this God loves us, sending his only son to die and rise to give us eternal life. Sometimes as we suffer in life with physical and emotional pain or we're filled with anxiety and worry, we forget who we are because those demons that come to us at night, those worries that tend to crush us, make us feel like that's who we are and that's who we're supposed to be. But this reading in John reminds us who we are, who you are. You are a child of God and nothing can take that away from you. Not what anyone else says. You are a child of God no matter what. And you're gonna make amazingly stupid mistakes. And you're gonna do some amazingly awesome things. But in the midst of it, you are always a child of God. Loved and saved and redeemed by Jesus Christ. I always think of the, when I hear this, these readings from first time, I think of the movie The Lion King. Now look, this came out when I graduated in high school in 1994, so if I'm spoiling something, too bad. All right, you've had plenty of time. All right, in The Lion King, there is Mufasa, the Lion King, his son Simba. Mufasa dies, Simba blames himself, and his evil uncle Scar stokes the flames, and so Simba runs off into exile. Scar takes over and runs the place into the ground, and so one of Simba's friends, his eventual wife, comes to find him and to bring him back. And Simba doesn't want to go back because all he sees is his guilt. All he has is his grief. All he has is he's run away from everything. And as he's questioning, his father appears to him in the clouds and says, remember who you are. You are my son and the one true king. Simba remembers and goes back to feed Scar and restores the pride lands. End of movie. 
Now you don't have to watch it. But it's awesome. Remember who you are. In those moments when you have doubt, when you begin to forget, when the pain and the grief and the hardness of life threatens to overwhelm you and you start to lose yourself in that pain, in that grief, in that suffering, in that hurts, remember who you are. You are a child of God. You are loved and redeemed and saved by Jesus Christ, not because of anything that you have done, but because Christ loves you and has given you his life so that you might have eternal life, so that you might be filled with faith, hope, and love, and that you would never forget that you belong to God. For that we can say, thanks be to God. Amen. started this uh, sermon talking about issues that we have. If you came today expecting anything new, you'll be disappointed. <laughs> we only had a couple weeks to get together, so we pulled out some old stuff. But the fun part for us is every time we do it, it's just a little bit different. Oh, anyway, okay. So you won't even know this. We usually forget how we start almost all these songs.
I invite you to please stand as we confess our shared faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed, which you can find printed in your bulletin. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their need. Loving God, we give thanks for your church, where we hear the gospel of deliverance, experience forgiveness, and taste your goodness. Bless all who boldly join in our song of thanksgiving. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Compassionate God, you call bless what our world scorns. Poverty of spirit, sorrow, meekness, righteousness, mercy, purity, and persecution. Give us eyes of faith that we might see Christ's power at work in weakness. God of hope, throughout the world, people suffer from injustice, violence, brokenness, and ordeals of every kind. But you call us to a different vision, where there is no more hunger, but this promise to you see. Loving God, guard and protect me and those who are injured or ill. Restore them to health and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy. Almighty God, we give thanks to the great company of saints whose witness nurtured us in faith and who now rest on their labors. May we join their chorus when our earthly labor is complete. Remember all those who have passed away this past year, especially Randy Smeltzer, William Anderson, Alan Carlsrud, Judy Keetzer, and all those we remember in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy. Into your hands we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let's share God's peace with each other, and then we'll have our offering.
Again, if you commune in the church you attend, you are welcome to commune here. Come and receive. 